The whole thing with chicken pot pie, I find, is that it's the dish you want to make to get your, like to get laid. You know, you're like, oh, I'm gonna make chicken pot pie, and people are like, yeah, I fucking love chicken pot pie, and you think you're gonna have sex, but as soon as you make it and you eat it, you're so fucking full of like fatty goodness, and that you're not gonna be able to do anything. You're gonna be like a lump on the log, sitting on the couch watching TV, not doing jack shit. So don't make this and think you're gonna have like a sexy night. You're not. Hi, I'm Faraday Sadigan. I'm the culinary director here at Munchies. Today I'm gonna to be making chicken pot pie topped with really buttery biscuits. For our biscuits, we've got some all-purpose flour, extra flour for dusting, salt, baking powder, baking soda, and some melted butter. And I also have some frozen butter in the freezer for the gravy. We've got some shredded chicken, some carrots, some peas, some pearl onions, some more butter, some more flour, chicken stock, and mushrooms. Okay, gonna make some biscuits to start. So we've got our flour. There's like five cups of flour, so in there. Salt, baking powder, and baking soda. Give those a little bit of a mix. I like to have it butter, it's nice and frozen, really cold. It melts better into it later. Just be sure not to grate your fingers, because that is never a good thing. Whew. It's a workout as well, just FYI. Another stick, a lot of butter, always a good thing. <laughs> I'm working up a sweat. Beautiful flaked butter. Now just mixing all this together by hand. That way you ha kind of have more control over it too. I always write in the recipes like pea-sized crumbles and that's what I mean. So nice and small like this. The butter, when you grate it, it does the job for you. Just break up some of those smaller pieces though. And that is gonna be some nice flecked buttery biscuits right there. It's about two cups of buttermilk. So I'm gonna turn this out onto my cutting board. So I'll put a little bit of flour down. I know it looks super dry right now, and that's fine. This is gonna be so flaky and great. Um, and as I'm working it right now, the heat from my hands is gonna kind of melt that frozen butter anyway. So I'm gonna make this into about three quarter of an inch rectangle. And then what we're gonna do is just, in order to get all those flaky layers that we love about biscuits, I'm gonna fold it over it on itself, maybe like five or six times. Just gonna go like that. Nice and crumbly. That's the texture we like. I'm gonna go like that. See, it's nice and like crumbly. You can see all the layers kind of into it already. I'm gonna get maybe about like 15 biscuits out of this. You're gonna flour your cutter and just pop it in there and pull it straight up. You don't want to like wriggle it around or anything. That fucks up the texture of the biscuit as well. There you go. You can see kind of like all the little layers in there. It's beautiful, right? So straight down, back up. That's the way we like to cut. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, geez. You can have fun making biscuits. It's not such a struggle. One more. We'll do a little like that. I'll save all these scraps, because we're gonna eat the fuck out of them later. And what I'm gonna do is put these into the freezer until the base of the pie is ready. And then we're gonna top our pie with it. Next up, we're gonna make the chicken pot pie base. What you can do is make your own chicken stock. So I'll take a whole three to four pound chicken, boil it with some water, some aromatics, let it simmer for an hour and a half or whatever until it's really tender and falling off the bone. And then you pick the meat from it. I'll strain the stock and that's the chicken stock that I'm using. I'm gonna use some pearl onions. I like the pearl onions because they soften up in there and they're a nice little burst of sweetness when you're eating it. We also have our mushrooms and carrots and peas. So carrots, I'm just gonna peel and they're gonna get diced up. I'm gonna get this guy on nice and warm. This is about a stick's worth of butter, eight tablespoons. We're gonna melt that in there. We're gonna saute these carrots in some butter. And while that's going, I'm gonna cut the mushrooms. These smaller ones, I'm just gonna maybe have them. Some of the bigger ones I might quarter. A chicken pot pie, I make all the time. It freezes really well. This is perfect for me to make for dinner parties. I know that sounds kind of funny, but it's one of those things you can make ahead of time, and then just when your friends come over, sit around, have some wine, cheese, whatever the hell you guys do, a smoke a joint, I don't give a fuck. Put it in the oven, by the time you're done, dinner's ready, it's like, everyone's like, wow, you didn't even cook anything, and it's so like, easy. And you're like, I know, it's amazing. I'm like the best host ever. 
So I'm gonna add my mushrooms in next. The thing about this too is that you don't want everything to cook down to mush right away because it's gonna go in the oven for another 35 minutes and continue cooking. So you want it to have a little bit of bite to it. I'm gonna add my pearl onions right in there. Flour into there. All that. So what we're doing now is just making a roux. This is gonna cook this out, get that flour taste out of it. This is gonna thicken up our sauce. I'm gonna make this thick as fuck. You can thin it out a little bit, but you know, you want it to kinda be like a gravy almost. I like it slightly thicker than a gravy. So I'm gonna add in my milk. So this is gonna like thicken up essentially straight away. I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna add in my stock. I add it in a little bit at a time so that you can just like kinda stir it in and you're gonna get to the consistency that you want, that nice kinda thickened gravy. The chicken's already cooked, the peas are already cooked. These are frozen peas, just defrosted. So we'll add in all that chicken. See, look how thick it is. Thick. I'm gonna add in the rest of the stock. And we're gonna throw those peas in there. And then we're gonna season this guy up with some salt and pepper. A little bit of salt. When I say a little bit, I mean a hefty amount. Because you have to remember, there's like, I haven't seasoned this once yet. Give it a mix. I'm gonna turn this off. Delicious. Okay. Boom. Classic, nine by 13. Delightful. I'm gonna pour this right on into there. I'm gonna grab my biscuits out of the freezer. You want to put a tray under it just so it doesn't like smoke out your whole kitchen. So we're gonna put some biscuits all up on top of it. Next up, we're gonna butter our biscuits. This just helps give them a little bit of color, and also butter is awesome. So we're gonna do that. I've preheated my oven to about 425 degrees. We're gonna bake this until the biscuits are you know nice and golden. When the biscuits are golden and the mixture is bubbling, that's when it's done. And now we wait. This dish is perfect in the dead set of winter, when it's cold and snowy, or any time of year, really. I would eat this all the time. Maybe not in the summer. Maybe. Maybe in the summer. Fuck yes. That's good. I like to serve it with like an arugula salad or some kind of like peppery green salad, kind of offset the richness of the actual pot pie with like a lemon dressing. So it's nice like acidity and it like cuts through it and makes you feel kind of healthy while you eat this. I'm gonna get right in there. Ooh, look at the biscuit. I personally never can wait, and I always take a bite just because I'm an asshole and I live with a perpetual burn on the roof of my mouth. I made this just for me today. I'm not sharing it. <laughs>